What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we'll be drawing the elf on the shelf. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the top edge of the eyes. Now we're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left and draw a curve that goes up towards the top of the eye. I'm gonna round this out and then come back down on the left. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. Going up towards the same height, round up the eye and then bring that down. Let's connect the outside of the eye with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up. And then from here, we're gonna shift the eyes over towards the left side. Starting from the top left, draw a half circle, coming all the way around and then back out towards the bottom. Let's line this up on the right. Going around, down, and then out. Now you want to trace this curve over towards the left. Going around, towards the bottom, and then out. Now add a small highlight circle along the top. And it will fill the inside of the pupil going around that highlight. Let's add a couple lashes over on the right. Start from the top, bend this round and up. Go back to the inside and draw that again. Now we want to move to the center and draw the nose. Let's we'll start with the bottom edge, going down and then up. I'm going to step up and draw a short curve going up and then down. Let's move down and draw in the mouth. Starting back on the left, come down the middle. Up, just close off the corners of the mouth with a small curve. Let's go back to the center, step down and draw the lower lip. Now from here we're going to move out to the side and draw the bottom half of the head. From the left eye, let's step out, curve down, round up the jaw, and just pull that in just underneath the mouth, go across, and then up on the right. Now from here we draw the inside edge of the hairline. On the left, then it's in towards the eye, then up towards the top. Let's draw the center of the hair. Starting back on the left, coming down, and then in. I'm just going to curl this around back towards the left. Let's bend the hair going across and then up towards the right side. Let's add two small curves above each eye with the eyebrows. Let's go back to these two points and draw on the side of the head. Let's start with the left. Bend this out and then up. Now from this point, I'm just going to curve the head going up and then in just up above that point. And do the same thing on the right. Let's add a bump in the center, going up and then back down. Let's add two large ears on the side of the head. So start on the left, going around and then bending that back in. And we'll add a fold inside the ear, bringing this up and out. Now let's draw on the hat. We're gonna step all the way up towards the top of our page, right in the middle, start with the point. Now from here, we're going to bend this out and then down towards this point in the head. Going out, and then we'll bend that down. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Going out, and then we'll bend that down. Let's add that trim across the hat. Going up, and then we'll bend that down. Now I'm going to move down and draw on that collar. Just underneath the chin, right in the middle, start with a point. Angle down and out toward the left and right side. From the bottom, angle up and out. 
and one more time, come down and out towards the side. I want to pull this up and in underneath the head on both sides. Now from here we're going to draw the arms folded on top of the legs. Let's start from this point, then the arm going out and then down towards the elbows. And then on the left side, then the arm coming down and then in towards the middle. Let's round up the hand, go up and back out. Now I'm going to curve the top of the arm, going across, and just aiming towards the elbow. Let's go over towards the right, just hold this arm down, and then up in behind. Let's go up in the center, and add that fold across the top of the right arm. Let's move to the center, draw a straight line going up, and I'm going to round out the knees, going up, and then down on the left, in behind the arm. Do the same thing on the right. Let's line this up underneath the arms, draw a straight line coming down, and then round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start with the left side, coming down and then up. Now let's pull the legs in underneath the arm on both sides. And it'll separate the gloves with a curve, starting on the top left. Then it's out and then down. Now we're going to finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Elf on the Shelf. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and if you did please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.